Hello all, my name is Itesh Tamani and welcome to my YouTube channel. So guys, today I'm back with a good conceptual problem. In this problem, we have to find the churn rate for each year and have to do a year over year comparison for that churn rate. These kind of problem statements are actual and a real life problem. So make sure you watch the video till end to learn something new. And please subscribe to my channel if not already done yet. Uh, one more thing, guys. So basically, data set of this particular problem I have already provided in the uh, description below so that like you guys can uh, take it from there and practice it by your own. So yeah, without wasting any time, let's get started. So as we can see, basically over here, we had been provided data set of drivers, right? So for a particular org, we are having like start date, end date, and ELD salary of a particular driver, right? And we have to like figure out the churn rate uh, like on the basis of year over year, right? So for a particular year, how much churn rate was there for a particular org, right? So let me just quickly explain you what do we mean by churn or like churn rate over here. So churn or churn rate is nothing but let's say if a particular person or particular uh, in this case, like uh, if a driver is leaving a org, so we have to figure out like how many number of drivers had left that particular organization. Right. So yeah, uh, as we can see over here, we had been given the start date of that particular driver, right? And similarly, we are having end date as well, like uh, till when that particular driver was there in the org, right? So since we have to basically output this uh, in the form of year, so over here, as we can see, like we are having start date and end date. So probably we can utilize that to calculate year from uh, date, right? And in SQL Server, as we know, like we are having an inbuilt function as year, uh, using which we will be able to get year from the date, right? So yeah, uh, as we can see over here, we can use year, right? And uh, I will use year of what? Year of end date, right? And I will give alias it as year, right? Also, uh, with respect to that, what we have to do basically, we have to count a uh, total number of employees uh, who had basically left the org, right? So on the basis of end date, uh, like over here, let's see, uh, let's say basically uh, if a particular employee start date is there, but end date is not there, right? Which means like that particular employee is still working in that company, right? So wherever the end date is available, probably that particular uh, employee or that particular driver had left the organization, right? So what I'm doing over here is I'm utilizing end date and I will basically do the count of records over here, right? Because like that particular record or that particular driver had left the org, right? So for that, what I'm doing is I am using count staff, right? And I will give this alias as churn count. Okay. Uh, and since we are basically drawing aggregation over here, so I will use this in group by, right? Group by year and date, right? And uh, over here, basically, uh, we have to only fetch uh, like data or like churn of those employees who had left the org, right? So uh, for that, what I will do, I will filter out those records where end date is null because those employees are still working in the organization, right? So for that, I will use where condition. So where end date is not null, right? So basically what it will do, it will convert end date into year. It will count all the uh, like records or all the employees who had left that particular org and it will basically uh, like ex uh, exclude all those records where we are having null value, right? So let me just run this and uh, we'll show you how our output will look like. Yeah, so as you can see, uh, like year wise, we got like number of employees who has left the organization, right? Now, this is uh, uh, this particular like uh, piece of code had solved the first part of the problem, right? So over here, as you can see, we are having like how many number of drivers have that have churned a uh, change in the, and basically we have to find the change in each year compared to the previous, uh, like previous year, right? So basically this particular piece of code had given me churn in current year, right? Now, uh, with respect to this, we have to find like churn in previous year as well, right? So 
let me just quickly give this as CTE. So I will use this as C, uh, like CTE as yearly churn, right? And I will basically use this CTE to like uh, to uh, find or to figure out uh, like churn rate of previous year, right? So over here, can I say this thing for 2016, previous year will be 2050, right? So basically churn for this is nothing but five, right? Similarly for 2017, churn is nothing but basically five again, right? Because for 2017, churn uh, is for 2016th year, right? Similarly for 2018, churn is for 2017, right? So uh, if I will be able to get these values over here, right? With respect to the previous one or like previous year, I will be able to determine like increase or decrease in churn rate, right? So for that, can I say this thing? We have to do a self join on this specific table, right? With uh, by taking uh, that particular condition in mind that for a current year, uh, like basically we have to display previous year's churn over here, right? So for that, what we have to do basically, we have to do a self join on this particular table itself. Right. Let me just quickly show you how we will uh, we will be able to achieve that. So for that, I'm using select star from uh, yearly churn. Right. And I will what I will do basically I will do over here left join. Right. Left join on what? Left join on yearly churn table only. Right. So left join yearly churn. Right. Uh, let's give this alias as current year, right? And let's give this alias as previous year, right? On now, uh, like uh, uh, basically what we had said, uh, like we have to do a self join on the, on the same table itself, right? But basically for that, what, what condition we have to keep in mind that for current year, we have to take the previous year, right? So for that, what we have to do, uh, like we will take C dot year, right? is equal to p dot year plus one, right? So let me just explain you this particular logic what we are using over here. So let's say for 2015, right? So for 2015, what it will do, it will basically take uh, like same year, right? It will add one uh, into that. So we will get 2016, right? And it will try to match 2015 with this, right? So with respect to that, we will get this value over here, right? Similarly for 2017, so what it will take, it will take 2016, right? It will add one into that, which will become 2017. And then we will be able to join uh, like this particular record with this, right? So yeah, and with respect to that, what, uh, what we are doing, we are taking uh, C dot year, right? We will take C dot year. And apart from that, like we have to take churn count as well, right? So I will take C dot churn count, right? I will give this alias as current, current year churn, right? Similarly, we will take same from previous year table as well, right? So we will take P dot churn count as previous year churn, right? So let me run this and we'll show you what will be our output. Yeah, so as you can see, we are having uh, for 2016, the previous year is 2015 and we got like previous year churn over here. Similarly for 2017, previous year is 2016, we got churn for that. Similarly for 2018, we got churn for 2017, right? So likewise, we got churn for like for all the current years, we got churn for previous year, right? Now, basically what we have to do, we have to flag it out. So basically for uh, every year, we have to flag it out like where the churn is uh, increase, decrease, or there is no change in churn, right? So for that, uh, in order to create a flag, what I'm taking over here is I will take case when statement, right? Because in SQL, let's say if we have to create any flag, right? So for that, we will use click like case when statement, right? So I'm using case when, right? Case when C dot churn count 
let's say if c dot churn count is greater than p dot churn count so like if current year's churn count is greater than previous year churn count right so what i'm saying i'm saying churn has increased right similarly let's say if uh let's okay yeah so if like current year churn count is lesser than previous year churn count which means churn has decrease right else there is no change so else no change okay uh, i will give this as and as change right let me just give it over here okay so let's run this and we'll uh, let me just show you how our output will look like okay so over here as we can see uh, for, for 2015 uh, since we don't have any previous year right so since previous year is not 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 available so for that also we are getting no change right but uh, like uh, ideally what is the scenario over here for previous year we don't have any churn right for current year it's five right so basically churn had increased in this particular case right but since we don't have previous year number over here it's it's by default uh, writing no change because it's comparing that like five is getting compared with null, right? So we have to handle this particular value as well over here. Uh, and apart from this, like over here, as we can see five is like uh, not comparable with five. So basically again, over here is no change. Similarly, eight is more than five. So it's increased 25 is more than eight. It's, it's increased. And since seven is less than 25, so it's, there is a decrease in change, right? So now how can we handle this uh, particular part over here? So what I'm doing over here is for previous year churn, right? I will use uh, is null, right? And I will give zero, right? Similarly, over here, I will use, let me just remove space, is null, and I will give zero. So wherever it's null, we will give zero to that particular value, right? Now, let me just run this once again and we'll show you how our output will look like. Yeah, so as you can see now, uh, like basically as uh, since we had given zero to this, it's comparing uh, like five with zero and we are getting increase over here, right? Now, but we have to showcase that zero uh, as well over here, right? So for previous year churn, what I will do uh, over here as well for like uh, when we are selecting p dot churn uh, in our select query, so for that also we will take is null and we will give by default zero to that, right? So now let's run. Yeah, so now we basically got uh, zero for this, right? Uh, and uh, yeah, that's what we have to basically show in uh, as part of this particular output, right? Uh, cool, so I hope you got to learn something new from this particular problem, right? Uh, like Python uh, solution for the same problem I have also like uh, created. So basically you guys can have a look at that as well. Link of the solution is available in the description below. You guys can uh, watch it from there, right? So yeah, guys, that's all. Thank you one and all. Have a great day ahead. Bye-bye.